check in on what's happening in Frisco. Mountain TV, I'm your host, Amax, and I've got Zane with the town of Frisco. Zane, one of my favorite events coming up, the Spontaneous Combustion Bonfire. Tell us all about it. Yeah, absolutely. One of your favorite events, and I probably shouldn't play favorites, but one of my favorites, too. It is coming up uh, just pretty quick here. Uh, Saturday, February 11th is right. when we're having the event this year, and it's going to have a lot of the uh, great things you usually expect at it. So Yes, it's from 6 to 8 coming up Saturday, February 11th. And real quick before we dive into it, the parking is going to be a little tricky at this event. So park on Main Street, and that way you can walk right over to Marina Road where it's all happening, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, that all the marina parking, that snow storage in the wintertime, as most locals know. So, you know, just... Uh, Find you a parking place on Main Street and use that crosswalk at Summit Boulevard and Main Street right there. And that's that's how you're going to get there. All right. And so if people, if they've never heard of it, which I'm sure people have heard of this, you are bringing in old Christmas trees, right? And then you're having a huge bonfire with those trees. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Um, we always invite people to drop off their real Christmas trees, of course, um, when they're done following the holidays. So, you know, they leave them in the lot. We got a nice big pile there. And then um, that's kind of the way we dispose of them in Frisco is it's a, it's a great community event, tons of locals, um, big bonfire, and as always supports a nonprofit like all of our events do. Yes, I was just gonna ask you who the nonprofit was this year. Yeah, it is Summit County Preschool. Um, they were our nonprofit last year, did a great job. So we're pumped to have them back on board. They are going to be running the beer tent. Yes, there will be beer and snacks available. I think they're doing some hot dogs also. Oh, yeah. And one note on that, it's in the middle of a parking lot, so make sure you bring cash. Yes, that's super important. Make sure to yeah. bring your cash. That's super, super important. And Zane, there's also going to be fireworks and a DJ, right? It's going to be a party. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the fire theme is uh, prominent with this one. But yeah, um, fireworks will start at 8 p.m. and that will be when the event ends and it'll end with the firework display at 8 p.m. and then DJ Landry is going to be there again playing some uh, fire inspired tunes for us. So Awesome. DJ Landry, he always does such a great job. Yeah, he's he's all over the county. He's doing tons of events. So, you know, we're we're real thankful he's uh, he's tagging along again this year. Awesome, Zane. And if people want more info, is townofrisco.com a good website to go to? Absolutely. For spontaneous combustion or any of our events that we have or anything going on in the town of Frisco, townoffrisco.com. We'll, you'll, you'll find what you need to know there. Awesome, Zane. And I encourage people too just to walk down Main Street in Frisco. It's going to be beautiful. All the lights are lit up at night. It's quite the sight to see. Oh, yeah. The lights, um, man, the snow we've been getting. It's just, you know, picturesque. Um, great local mountain town feel. And this is a great local event that again, goes towards a nonprofit in Summit County Preschool. So, you know, no, no reason not to come really, so. Yeah, definitely, Zane, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again, thanks for coming into the studio and filling us in. Yeah, it's always a good time. Thanks for having me, man.